Tafsir of Surah Al-Fatihah. I mean, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Let me introduce myself. I am Asni Shariza Abu Hassan, the moderator for our session today. And I know that everyone is eager for Hari Raya break next week. But this session is one that you must not miss if you are interested in product innovation, invention and design. And also if you are looking for guide and tips in starting your own IID product. Therefore, Academy of Language Studies, together with Institute Kepimpinan Pembangunan UITM Kedah, is proud to present to you a webinar session calling for IID heroes, pitch and win, from our very own IID guru who has received many awards and accolades for her accomplishment. Now, let me introduce our speaker, our IID guru, the one and only Puan Sharina Sain. Puan Sharina Sa'an is presently a senior lecturer at Academy of Language Studies, UITM Kedah, and she is also currently a postgraduate student at USM. Her involvement in IID actually started in 2009, and she won three golds and two silvers within that period. However, in these recent years, she has been actively doing projects on indigenous Samai Orang Asli folktales and has been participating in many IID competitions where she used these competitions as a platform to promote her ideas and products related to Orang Asli folktales. With her collaborations with lecturers of ABB, College of Creative Arts and also students of UITM, she has won many prestigious awards. Her best achievement so far was winning three Diamond Awards in international IID competitions. And recently, she has been invited as a speaker in a symposia at a conference Malik 2021, organized by UNITA, which discussed the issues of Orang Asli education in Malaysia. Uh, I think she deserved to be called IID Guru yeah, with her achievements. Um, let me share with you some of her awards. Her three International Diamond Awards are Diamond Award IAC Brunei 2019 with the product The Ghost of Terloche, Diamond Award IIDEX 2019 with Stranger Danger, Diamond Award BI, BVI EEC 2019, The Tale of Chen Chamana and 20 other gold awards in different IID competitions relating to Indigenous studies throughout the year of 2016 and uh, to 2021. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Let us invite Point Sharina Sa'id uh, to give her, to share her knowledge with us. Welcome, Point Sharina. Okay, uh, thank you, Point Asni, for the introduction. Okay, I think uh, the name IID Guru is a big name, yeah, and I don't think so. I deserve that uh, IID Guru title. I am still in the learning process and I am still improvising my product from year to year. Okay, uh, firstly, thank you for coming. Assalamu alaikum and uh, Ramadan Karim to all of you. I know you are in the middle of uh, preparing for your Raya already, and some of you are uh, going home for the holidays, but thank you so much for uh, your interest to join uh, my webinar today. And as promised in the poster, I will be uh, giving you some tips on how to win uh, ID, IID competition yeah, based on my little experience that I have. Okay, so before I start uh, sharing my uh, PowerPoint, I have uh, some presentations for you to do. Uh, I would like to share with you just a little bit about my journey. Yeah? I, start, I joined UITM in 2007, actually. UITM Kedah, and in 2009, UITM had uh, the first uh, IID competition, and I joined that competition uh, together with my colleagues from APB, and Alhamdulillah, from that uh, competition, I got my first gold medal, but not on uh, any uh, risk, but that was actually based on my master research, okay? So, uh, my first advice is, if your product is based on a research, it is a winning product, inshallah. Okay, so it must be based on the research. 
uh, the first I, I did the the first goal that I received it is based on my master research, and then um, after that, when I did my study about indigenous people in two thousand nine, I started uh, doing my indigenous study, and then two thousand eleven, I started to join uh, competitions, IAD competitions with products from uh, based on that research, and I kept on winning. So I didn't win. Um, diamond straight away. I started from silver, gold, and then after many times of uh, joining and participating in IID, I started to win gold, and then the best one was the diamond awards. And the best memory was winning diamonds, three diamonds in a row. Okay, now I will start uh, sharing my presentation. Okay. Okay, Asni, is my uh, slide visible to all? Yes, yes, Katrina. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Tak tahu lah kenapa I feel a little bit nervous this morning. Maybe looking at all the big names that I have this morning. <laughs> so I am a little bit nervous. But never mind. Inshallah, this nervousness, this nervousness will go away once I start. Okay, sharing again. Okay, Asni. Okay, good. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Assalamualaikum, salam Ramadan karim. I am Sharina Sa'ad uh, from UITM Kedah. So my topic today is calling IID heroes. So I know uh, some of you or maybe most of you who are here, you have the experience of joining IID competition before, okay? So maybe you are here to, to know more or to learn more. Okay, uh, so inshallah, I will have, uh, I will be sharing with you the knowledge that I have throughout my experience from 2009 of joining IID competition. And I will share with you some tips uh, of how to win and how to pitch a product if you were asked to pitch the product to win uh, the special award. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, this is what we're going to have today. I will be throughout my presentation, I'll be sharing uh, my experience. Uh, throughout my journey and I will share some tips and tricks on winning IID and I will share some effective strategies on presenting product ideas and also the last part is how to pitch for a diamond award. Okay, so firstly before we join uh, innovation competition or any IID competition we have to know what is the meaning of innovation and what is the meaning of invention. I remember when I start when I first start started to join IID. I didn't even uh, take the trouble to know what is innovation and what is you know uh, what is invention. What is the difference between these two? So I had difficulty when I was asked to register when I wanted to register my team. I I didn't even know whether my product is innovation or invention. Okay, so during those days, then. After a few years, I got to learn that there are actually many differences between these two. Okay, so let us look at what are the differences. So invention is actually a novel product, a device, process or concept. Whereas innovation is the introduction of a newer or better solution that meet new requirements or existing market needs. Okay, so from this definition, you already know the, a little bit the difference between these two, okay? And invention requires knowledge, competence and financial aid, of course. You need money in order to invent something. You need the sponsorship, for example. And then here, for innovation, you need technical knowledge. You need competence, of course. 
You need knowledge about the market needs. You know, you have to know what is the demand in the market. Okay? And what do people need? And how to make it better? Okay, what is the trend? And of course, financial support again. But for your information, I've been doing my projects based on... Uh, I didn't have a lot of sponsorship. I based on my own uh, pocket, uh, based on uh, my own pocket money, most of it. Okay. And for example, the invention, the examples are invention of the printing press, electricity, telephone, etc. And innovation is example of iPhone, uh, iPhone or tablet, flat screen or TV. So from here, you can see the difference. Innovation is totally new thing and innovation is you improvise something. Okay, now to have a clearer view, what is the difference between innovation and invention? It is a formulation of new ideas for product or process. And innovation is practical application of new invention into marketable products or services. Okay, for example, if you are teaching, how to make your teaching method better? So the better teaching method is the innovation, okay? All right, so uh, an example here that I have given here, invention is the creation of a product or introduction of a process for the first time. For example, Thomas Edison was an inventor, okay? And innovation happens when someone improves on or makes a significant contribution to something that has already been invented. The product is already been invented, but you improvise it, okay? For example, like Steve Jobs was an innovator, okay? All right, so after knowing the difference, the differences between innovation and invention, you may want to ask yourself, okay? For example, if you have a current pro product, what is your product? What, so what is your product category? Is it invention or is it innovation? Okay, so innovation is something that you change, you change something to add value to it. You add value. But you know, invention is totally a new product. Okay, I would like to give you one example. Last year, I had uh, I have a friend uh, from UITM Kedah. He invented uh, uh, a product. The product is called uh, Al Muashir. Al Muashir is in Arabic. Al-Mu'ashir is penunjuk Al-Quran. Now, when you read Al-Quran, um, we used to have like a uh, bulu burung, uh, no, the, not bulu burung, uh, what to say, the, the feather, the, the bird's feather as penunjuk Al-Quran or paper, you roll the paper and it is a penunjuk Al-Quran. So, he invented a penunjuk Al-Quran. So, that is invention because that is a new thing. And this year, when he joined another competition, he improvised it by putting uh, designs on that Peninjo al Quran on the Mu'ashir. So he has now Mu'ashir 2.0. So that is innovation. The first product was invention and the second product is the innovation because he has improvised, improvised it and add value to the new product. Okay, so what does innovation in education mean to you? Because we are in the academic uh, world, we are in the academic field. Okay, so for example, like myself, most of the time, I do my uh, my product invention or my product innovation is based on teaching and learning. Okay, for example, if I have uh, an ebook, I created an ebook. I use it in my classroom, and how to make it different uh, from the previous learning, uh, teaching and learning that I have done, and now I'm using ebook. So I'm using something new. So to see how different will it make from the previous method that I used, now I'm using a new method, using this ebook. Okay, so we have to understand what it is, mean, uh, what does it mean to us? Okay, I have here several quotations. And afterward, maybe we will be asking ourselves, what does it mean to us? Okay. For example, uh, Michelle here, she said that innovation in education is always seeking knowledge that will support new and unique ideas. Okay, so the key word here is seeking knowledge that will support new and unique ideas. Okay, and another definition is by Whitney. 
Okay, so Whitney says that innovation in education is stepping outside of the box. Okay, so uh, we are we have been doing the new uh, something which is uh, common. Every semester we are doing the same thing. Okay, every semester we are teaching the same way. So how about stepping outside of the box by doing something different? Okay, so this is also innovation, which some of our lecturers or some of us fail to see that it is we are actually doing innovation and it is worth to expand and you can actually use it to join a competition. Okay, because some of uh, my friends, I'm talking about my friends, and some of my friends, they think a product should be a visible product. It must be a nampak product too. Okay, so we are, uh, innovation does not mean that you create something like a product that can be seen, no, not a machine. Doesn't necessarily be a machine or something that can be seen. It can also be tangible or you have tangible intangible. Yang tak nampak pun boleh. The, the product innovation can also be an idea. So the idea can also be an innovation which is worth uh, to enter an ID, ID competition and deserve to win as well. Okay. And innovation in education means allowing imagination to flourish and not be afraid to try new things. And I always do this. I always like to imagine. Okay. If you don't have this imagination, you cannot have innovation uh, first is to maybe first you have to dream about it you have to imagine if you do this okay how about doing this so you have this like a drama script in your brain yeah you keep seeing this in your brain and then maybe after that you go to your table you take a pen and a paper write down your ideas i always do this when i have idea sudden idea in my mind I will take a pen and paper and try to write it down. Okay, write it down. And then I've, I will find a friend to talk about it. And then if I have one interested friend, that is enough for me because I know that it can happen if you have an idea, imagination, which is actually can be shared. You share with your friend and then if he or she sees the same thing as you, then you can just proceed with that idea. So an idea can be expanded and can be an innovation product, which is uh, today's generation say kebabungan, inshallah. Okay, so how about you? What does innovation in education mean to you? Uh, perhaps you can write uh, your answer in the chat box and Asni can read it. So how about you? These are the, innovate, uh, these are the definition by uh, scholars, yeah, by Michelle, Whitney, and Valerie. So, how about you? What do you? Uh, what does innovation in education mean to you? Do you have any uh, definition on your own? For example, try to write it in the chat box, perhaps. Is there any uh, definition shared, Asni, in the chat box? Can you check? There's none in mid. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to check Facebook. Okay. Uh, YouTube, so far, no. No, so far, no. Okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it's okay. I will proceed. All right. So what's the most innovative thing that you have done? Okay, so this is my next question. I hope you can answer this one. Okay. What's the most innovative thing you have done so far in your entire teaching career, for example? Okay. Please answer this. Type it in the chat box. Let's have this session as santai santai only and not a stressful uh, session, I hope. Santai santai. Sorry, no. Yes, yes. This is one answer. Yeah. Um, Hawa Haji Naha is, uh, must be interesting and easily understand. So I think this is the for the definition, uh -uh. definition of education, innovation in, in, uh, in innovation in education must be interesting and easily understand, easily understand. Okay. A very good definition. So meaning to say that if you produce something, 
it should be interesting and it should be it can be understand easily and can be used in the classroom okay can you please answer this next question of mine what's the most innovative thing you have done throughout your entire teaching career you, i i know you have joined many competitions before or maybe you have joined several or a few or only one or two okay so what is the most innovative thing that you have done can you type your answer in the chat box perhaps okay one from kazana sparkle mm -hmm. race okay sparkle yes okay good one zana okay is there any more is there any more i joined in 2012 mm -hmm. uh, a video uh, the do's and don'ts in public uh in the do's and don'ts a video the do's and don'ts in elc to no bell 260 at that time mm -hmm. i'm not mistaken so it was a long time ago okay did you win any award for that uh i was at uitm jenka at that time uh we won something but i can't remember mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so as at least you have done and innovative you have produced something innovative okay you have done something okay all right so let me proceed yeah all right so why must we participate in iid competition so this is uh, a question that my my friends or my colleagues uh, usually ask kenapa kena masuk ah kena kenapa kena join why must we participate okay now let us look at this uh, because you want to exhibit research creation and innovation if you have done something great in your class if you have done something new or some you have innovated something why can't you share it why don't you share so that you have many people who uh, can also use this the the idea that you have or the product that you have produced okay so share with your with colleagues from other uh, learning institutions or perhaps you can sell that product uh, for example my colleague just now zana she has uh, she has shared and I, I think she is also selling the product that she has created. Okay, and perhaps you will catch the eye of the people from the industries and they will be interested in your product, perhaps. Okay, and to share expertise and commercial, creative and innovative ideas. Sharing is caring. Uh, so we academicians always have this uh, principle that we like to share because we care. Okay, and then here to cultivate interest and encourage academics or instructors and students to develop teaching materials in line with current technological development. So uh, bear in mind, uh, in whatever innovation that you want to do or in whatever uh, competition, innovation, uh, competition that you want to join, make sure that it is in line with the current trends. Okay, make sure that you uh, look at the Malaysian education blueprint, for example, or maybe the latest statement by the Ministry uh, Ministry of Education or Ministry of Higher Learning. So perhaps you can kite, kite, kind uh, relate your innovation with these uh, principles or these ideas or these quotations by the big people in Ministry of Education. Okay, and of course for my ATP and also publication requirement as well. So if you notice, I don't know if you notice or not, if you notice uh, this year, uh, since last year, but this year it is obvious. In most of the RID competitions advertised in our email, uh, in the advertisement, it is mentioned requirement of my ATP. It is a requirement, why must you join? Why must you join EGIT 2022? Why must you join I Intellect 2021? Why must you join? Because you have my ATP requirement. So you can uh, fill in all the criteria in your my ATP. And then, of course, this time around, if you notice, most of the organizers, they have publication already. Even though it is IID competition, they also have publication. So if you want to join, look for IID that provide publication. They have uh, abstracts, uh, e-proceeding for abstracts. They have a full paper e-proceedings. They also have a standard abstract. So try to join and then you have, uh, if you don't win, 
uh, the Gold Award doesn't matter, but you have all these benefits. You have the publication and you can also EC or my ATP. Okay, that is good enough okay, to have the experience. All right. Okay, so the important thing if you want to join IID competition, you have to know your category. You, whether your category, I mentioned just now, whether your category is innovation, your category is invention or design. Okay. And I would like to share with you uh, last, uh, I think it, it was last year. It was last year when uh, we had, uh, we, my APB, uh, our APB team, we organized uh, RID competition. And then uh, one participant, uh, she actually did a, a good product, but she mistakenly uh, filled up wrongly eh, for the category. Uh, it was supposed to be innovation, but she put it as in uh, invention. So wrong category. Then, um, so the abstract was not, uh, what the abstract was like uh, given back to her and asked her whether, are you sure that this is invention or innovation? And she had to re-register. Uh, okay, not so bad. She could uh, re-register, but you have to do the work two times. Uh, dua kali kerja lah, kan? Okay, and... About the category also, actually, this this is, uh, I would like to share you a trick, yeah? Uh, because I have always uh, joined IID competition with my colleagues from AD, uh, Art and Design, and they have this trick that they shared with me. And they said, uh, they call me Katsha. Katsha, Katsha, uh, for your product, why don't you click design category? Because... I have all these ideas, okay, for, for example, for my semi-indigenous uh, book, for the ebook, the animated movie, the animated film for my semi, and they did the design. These uh, designers, the lecturers, they designed for me the characters, they designed for me the setting uh, of, the, of the movie that we are making. So they said, why don't you join? Uh, you don't put innovation because the competition is great there. Why don't you click the design category? So I did that. Okay, I did follow what my colleagues advised me. So I did click uh, design category. Uh, this uh, was this happened when I joined IDEX. Uh, IDEX uh, 2019, IDEX 2021, IDEX 20, 2018. So it worked. Okay, so we did won, uh, we did win uh, diamond and gold when we did that. So under design category, okay. Sherry, yeah. Sherry, how how to decide how to decide which category that you should join? How to decide which category that you should join? Okay, for me, okay. If I were if I were to register my product, okay, I honestly would register it as innovation because I know that it is innovation. But in my innovation. They are designers who are involved, okay? And they designed the product for me. So they asked me to try to put it under design category because I, I remember that was when I produced animated film about the indigenous story, folktale. So we produced animated film and they did the design. So they, they asked, they said, it is also a design category. So why don't you try this time design category? I know, I know it is innovation. It can be design as well because it, the design is involved as well. So that's why I, in year 2019, 2020, I did uh, put my category as design category. And 2020, I won the Diamond Award under the design the category. Okay, so actually, uh, if it is a new product, then it is invention. To know you are uh, to answer your question, how to know whether it is uh, which category? If your product is a new invention, then of course you would choose the invention. And if it is an improvised version of something, then of course it is innovation. And then if you produce design something, okay, it is under design. For example, uh, remember the just now I mentioned about my friend who invented Al Muashir, the Penunjuk Al Quran. So that is design and also invention it can be both category as well okay all right 
All right. So this one, entry category. Uh, I remember uh, I joined this competition this year, AG 2022. Okay. So many, uh, many academicians, many people from the industries who joined this AG 2022 competition, they put, uh, they when they wanted to tick for the category, they tick wrongly. Okay. And this is a different category. Uh, this is the category for uh, your entry category. Just now is your product. Okay, let me, this is your product category. Product category, invention, innovation, or design. And this one is entry category. You have to make sure that your entry category is correct when you want to register. Okay, so when you want to register, who are you and your team members? Okay, which category are you? Okay, so this AG 2022 organizers, they sent this email to everyone who participated, who registered earlier and they registered wrongly. Okay, so you, they have this junior category, tertiary category or professional category. So junior category is the school student, the students from school, yeah? And then the ketua, the leader, must be the student because that's why you register it under junior category. For example, if you are the teacher, and then uh, I remember one teacher uh, when we organized I Intellect, APB organized I Intellect, uh, the teacher from Sekolah Menengah, could I remember, from Perlis, he called me, kenapa saya tak boleh uh, jadi ketua? Okay, why I couldn't be the ketua, the leader? I said because you, your category, your anchor category is junior. So your student should be the leader. You have to be the member. And then he argued, Tapi saya yang ajar dia, saya yang ajar dia. I teach them. I guide them. Whatever it is, if you want your students to join in junior category, the student has to be ketua. If you want to be ketua, you have to join the professional category. If cikgu nak jadi ketua, cikgu has to be professional category. Okay, so for junior, the ketua must be the student and cikgu can be the ahli. For tertiary level, the ketua must be student from university. Okay, uh, for example, I also have IID competition which I join with my students. Okay, and I encourage them to be ketua. So when my student become the ketua, I will, will be their member. So I will be in their group, helping them, guiding them, encourage them, and then took them to the competition, to the IID competition, be with them, everything. But still, I am the member. Okay, because I joined in tertiary category. Okay, if you as a lecturer or teacher, you want to be the leader, you have to be in the professional category. And then if you want to include your students, your students should be your member. Okay. Uh, so this is the entry category, which can be a confusion as well. All right. So there are actually, uh, okay, this is from another competition. Uh, they have this entry category. The conference invite participants from professional, but uh, luckily they mentioned, uh, they put in a bracket, what professional means, lecturers, teachers, practitioners, and industries. Okay. And IPTA category, the uh, must be students and school students and teachers or lecturers can only be members. All right. Uh, any question about entry category? I will proceed, okay? All right. And this is from another competition. Okay. This is from another competition where they have this category because uh, this competition is uh, highlighting the technology the use of technology. So they, they have a different category. So they have the, the entry category as category one, whether your product is virtual reality or augmented reality. Category two, your product is gamification or game-based learning. Or category three, whether your product is content development. So if you have a product, your product is not category one, not category two. To be safe, join category three. Okay? Any question? No question. I will proceed, yeah? 
Okay, so if you decide, okay, for example, you have plan, you already have the plan that for this year, 2022, I would like to join at least two competitions, okay, because I want to fill in my, my ATP. Uh, so the first part I join in the early year and then the second part maybe later in the year, okay. So you set your own challenge, which competition that you would like to join. Every day when you look at your email, there are many invitations from uh, organizers, from UITM pun ada banyak, and then also from outside, uh, from outside our organizations. Okay, uh, I remember this, uh, this early of this year, I joined uh, VICE 2022, uh, VICE 2022, that was the second time I joined VICE. Why I joined VICE, even though VICE was not in my list, because uh, the organizer, I think they co-joined with UITM Pulau Pinang. The organizer is not, uh, is Malaysian. Couldn't remember the, the organizer name. Uh, uh, there, is, uh, there is a body of uh, innovation uh, and invention and they collaborated with UITM Penang, if I'm not mistaken. Why I joined this competition, even though Vice was not in my list earlier, because the organizer, they had this personal touch, the personal message. They personal message those who joined in the first vice, which was held in 2016. Okay, so I remember I joined vice 2016. I won gold. So the organizer, uh, she texted me, congratulated me on my previous winning. I said, oh, I won this in 2016. Okay, and then I received a congratulation uh, note in 2000, uh, in 2022. Okay. And then they, they asked me like a Pujo, would you like to join again this year? Okay. And because of that personal touch, so I put as a touch lah, terharu, and I joined. Okay. I joined uh, Vice 2022 this year and I joined this with lecturers uh, from APB, from AD, and also, we have many students in our group, uh, six students. So it, it is like a combination of lecturers and students. And the good thing about VICE is they don't, they don't limit the members. Uh, they, some competitions, they have only five people in your group. Okay, not less, not more than five. But this VICE 2022, they don't limit the members. Okay, so... I call my friends and also my students who like to join. So we have like 12 members, six lecturers and six students. Okay, so I joined this VICE in February, I think February this year. And we won silver for that. Okay, so you set the challenge, which competition you want to join. But of course, you choose the competition that you would like to win. Uh, choose the competition that you can win, one thing. Choose a competition that offer you a lot of things. Choose a competition that offer you uh, publication. Choose a competition that, of course, uh, not demanding a lot of money from you. Okay? I think I joined Vice for 150 and then the second competition I joined, the fee was only 50 ringgit. Okay? So choose a competition wisely. After you have chosen the competition, you try to get friends to join with you, okay? And then in today's marketplace, innovation is highly appreciated and wanted. So if you notice, all universities are start, have started doing a innovation competition. In our email also every day, you can see a, a, a lot of uh, competitions from our organization and also from outside. Okay, coming up with a brilliant new product idea is the first uh, aspect. So if you have an idea, tak apa, ada idea pun tak apa, the idea can, can be a product, inshallah. Okay, and then you have to decide how to present it. And sekarang, we have to prepare a video. Uh, I don't know. Some people have this idea of, uh, they prefer the traditional IID competition. Some people, they prefer prefer the new IID competition, they say it is economical. You don't have to be there. You don't have to, to be at the uh, IID place where they organize it. You don't have to be in Penang or in Pera or in Trengganu or Sabah. Okay, you don't have to travel. So save money. You just have to prepare your presentation in video. Okay, and just submit your video and wait for the, uh, for the result. 
okay? So as a pitch presenter, you, are, you ought not just to capture the attention of your prospect, but also you have to win the hearts, of, of course. When you do the traditional uh, IID, you have to stand by your banner, stand at your booth, and you have to present, you have to pitch your product. And you don't only want them to know what you're doing, what is the product that you are promoting, but you want to win the heart because they are the one, the judges are the one who are going to give you marks in the end. So you want to capture their attention and you want them to give you the highest mark so that you could win a medal. Okay, so this is a challenge. This is a challenge. That's why uh, even though IID sounds alarm kacang, some people say it is kacang. It is not that kacang. You really have to plan very well, especially when you are the leader. If you are the leader of the team, you are... Uh, you will be the person who is the mastermind of that uh, competition, of that participation. So, let us proceed. The first thing, after you have decided, tahun ni, I nak masuk dua IID. Okay, and then you tengok email, there is one IID competition. So, what do you do when you have decided? You need to visit the website. Visit to the website of that competition is mandatory. And do not only let the leader doing that job. Make sure all the members also are aware about the rules of the competition. Okay, for example, uh, this is uh, this one, D Creations, Creations D UITM 2022, which I joined also this year. And I won another silver. Uh, this year, uh, I joined D Creations 2022 with two students of mine. Okay. So I invited two students. So we visited the website and then to look at general rules. You have to know the rules of the competition. You have to know the registration guideline, how to register. And you have to know the fee, of course, how much to pay. And you have to know the judging criteria. Uh, of course, you need to know the judging criteria so that you can plan how to win. If you don't look at the criteria, then you you just okay i not join competition i bought video then i send video that's it you want to win right if you join the competition you have paid the fee of course you have in mind that you want to you have the target what medal you want to win so you want to win ataupun you tadi salah menang tu salah no if you have set your mind to win a medal Okay, for example, you want a gold or you want a diamond. Look for the judging criteria. So what are the criteria that they are looking for? What do they want? Okay, so try to, uh, to, to follow this criteria. So if you have all these criteria, of course, uh, silver is already in your hand. Okay. Of course, you will be uh, awarded one of the medals. Okay, you will be in the winning list. And then look for the awards. Of course, after the hard work, you want to look for the rewards. Okay, what award are they offering you? Uh, okay, for example, if they have gold, silver, bronze, what other special awards do they have? Do they have other special awards? Maybe you would like to aim for these special awards. Okay? And then look for the event schedules. Of course, you need to know the event schedules. You, if you become the leader, you have to remind your group members, okay, our deadline is uh, approaching, so we have to do this, we have to do this. So you have to follow the event schedules, okay? And then look at the, uh, the event schedule sometime uh, for the uh, organizer. They also have uh, talk, they have webinar. Okay, for example, when I joined Creations, they have several webinars before the actual uh, date of the result announcement. So you can uh, just follow the webinar to get more knowledge about IID. Okay, and then of course you need to know the important dates, when to register, when to submit your video, and when is the result day. Okay, and then of course you need to look at here to know the submission, when to submit or the submission guideline and here download, you can see here download, uh, you have to download the correct template. Okay, uh, do not send the template, uh, do not send your abstract using the wrong template. 
Okay, why? Because you didn't check the website. So firstly, first thing you need to do, you have to visit the website, look for all the information from the website. Okay, all right, download the abstract and then start writing the abstract. Okay, you have to know the competition clusters. Some competition, they offer clusters. Okay, interested participants, this one I, I took from our own... Um, our own uh, IID competition, I Intellect, I think. Uh, interested participants are invited to submit their innovative products in the area of, okay. So some organizers, they have this cluster. Okay, so that you know whether you are from language and education. So you choose, when you register, you choose your cluster. You are language and education cluster. Are you science and technology? If you are science and technology, click on the science and technology cluster. And you have social sciences and I intellect or I intel, uh, it is good that they have this general innovation. So if you are not under this category, language, science, technology, social, you join and you will be under general innovation. It is an open category, not teaching and learning products, okay? Because some people, they are from the industries, they think that, oh, if UITM is organizing or other universities are organizing, they, they will have this in mind. They will think that, oh, it must be about teaching and learning only. But their product is not about teaching and learning. So if your product is not about teaching and learning, you can join the general innovation product. Okay, I would like to share uh, another uh, one case uh, when we handle this I Intel, a participant, uh, she wrongly uh, entered uh, her product under language and education. By right, she should enter her product under social sciences. And unfortunately, she was judged by language and education. So when we check, uh, even though the product is a good product, but because the she chose the wrong cluster, she was judged under language and education. She got the lowest mark and of course she only managed to get a bronze medal and and this was actually a, a mistake own mistake okay not organizer mistake this is our own mistake because we didn't study the website we didn't look for the information first before we join the competition do you have any questions so far okay Kat Sharina, we have one yes from nazata shima can we join again with the same product but with improvements, similar right. name or change the name? Okay, I will answer you. Uh, I will answer your question when I come to that part because I will also talk about that part. Okay, ask me. I, I will be answering that question later because I have one slide talking about that question. Okay, okay. okay. Tushima, Tushima, I will. I will answer you afterwards. All right, no problem. Okay. All right, so you have to read the guidelines carefully. Okay, for example, you have abstract guidelines. So how many words are allowed? So if the guidelines say 250, please obey it, 250, and should not be written in other languages except for English. Okay, please write in English. A good abstract should contain background, problem statement and objective, novelty, benefits, society, and commercialization potential. You will be, you must be thinking, Allah, they are not money, they want profit. So they will accept. I don't think about, I don't think in that way, okay? Uh, so that you purposely just uh, chin chai, chin chai writing your abstract, okay? So when you write your abstract, you are not careful. You don't really follow the guidelines because you think, oh, the organizer, they want money, they want profit. Of course, they will accept it. Mm, you are not right by thinking that way. You are wrong, actually. Because uh, I remember, uh, I also have uh, quite a few experiences where my abstract was not rejected. The abstract was uh, returned to me asking me to revise. Um, Puan Sharina, uh, can you please revise your abstract? Because uh, the word you are above the word limit. Okay, the word limit is only 200. Because I used to write uh, abstract with 250, so I also ingat 250. So I write 250 and submit. And submitted, and then without realizing, actually, 
the guideline says 250 only. Uh, 200 only. Okay, but mine is 250. So I have to revise and then resubmit. Okay. Ah, janganlah merajuk when when the organizer ask you to revise. Ah, merajuk dah tak nak join and then you want to join other competition. They ask you to revise meaning they are considering accepting your abstract. And that's why they want you to revise it. Okay, but you have to read the guidelines, of course, and download the correct template. Okay, information about the fee. Uh, this one is very important. Okay, you have to know how much you need to pay. Okay, so you need to read the payment guidelines. Okay, and you need to also know, for example, if you want to buy extra medal, how much you have to pay. Uh, you have to read. Okay, for example, uh, the fee for the categories are also different. If you are professional, how much you have to pay. If you are under other category, the fee, the fee may be different. Okay. And then remember, after you have paid, after you have transferred the money via online, do keep the receipt. Because when you want to register, they would like to look at the evidence that you have paid. So when you register, you need to upload your evidence of payment, the receipt of payment. Okay, so um, this is actually the role of the leader, but the, the leader can also ask one of the members to do okay. Uh, it is up to you how you divide the task among you and your members. Okay, for example, uh, I also assign some of my team members to do the payment. Okay, you are in charge of the, of the payment and registration. And most of, but most of the time, I will be doing the registration myself. Okay, the payment, everything, I will do it myself. To ensure that you are uh, doing all the things uh, related to your competition accordingly. You follow the date, you follow the guidelines, you are not, uh, uh, for example, like doing late payment. And uh, the beauty about some uh, competition is the IID competition, they offer the early bird rate. So try to catch these early bird rates. So save 50 ringgit or maybe 30 ringgit. Okay, so save your money. So try to catch the early bird rate. So you have to get the information from the website. All right. So after you have read the website, after you have uh, 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 downloaded the, the abstract guideline, everything. So what you need to do, you don't only have that product look per se, and then you want to do your, do your RAD competition. No, you have to do your research. Uh, doing the research about the innovation idea of yours or invention idea of yours or design idea of yours is very important because you need to know what other people are doing as well okay maybe your product is not the you think that you are in, in malaysia you are the only person who is doing this maybe there are also other people who are doing similar similar things like yours but how is your product different from the others so you need to research. That's why you need to research. You have to research a product idea. You have to read about similar idea and expand it. Okay, for example, uh, you have the idea of doing uh, uh, TikTok for writing. Okay, TikTok for writing. You know that now nowadays students, they love TikTok. So maybe you have the idea to teach writing using TikTok. Okay, so you have this idea already. And then try to research to what other people are doing about it. Maybe they are doing on speaking, on other skills. For example, I'm teaching uh, English, yeah? So we have that reading, listening, speaking. So now you want to teach writing. And what writing? Is it academic writing? Is it uh, expository writing, the diploma, expository writing, ELC 231 writing? Or is it uh, analysis, written analysis, writing 501? So you, what do you want to do? do actually what do you want to achieve actually you have, you have the idea of tiktok but that tiktok is to be applied with what skill so you have to to think differently okay for example if other researchers have done this you may want to do the same but different similar idea but different approach for example okay and expand it so you have to talk about your 
idea with your interested colleagues. Okay, for example, you have many types of colleagues in your department, okay? And if they are interested, of course, they say, okay, I want to join, I want to join. Okay, if they want to join, okay. And if they say, let me think first, lah, Kak Sherry, let me think first. And then you waited for one hour, uh, one week or two weeks, no reply, I don't wait. You just have to invite other people, okay? If you don't have interested people in your department, they don't believe in your idea, they think that your idea is ridiculous. Why don't you invite people from other faculties? It doesn't matter as long as they are interested and they have confidence in you. They know and you know that they are also potential collaborator. Your friend who is from other faculty, he or she can actually help you more than the colleagues in your department. Why don't you invite the person? Because the person has the expertise that you want. Okay, that is important. And then remember, you have your idea, you have colleagues already who are interested in you, who are interested in you, in your idea. Sorry, yeah. And then try to read up, align it with the government policy or industrial needs or educational demands and society needs. Do they need this? Okay, for example, like the TikTok idea. Many people are against TikTok. They think, oh, Muslimah cannot do TikTok. Lah. They will say all these negative things. But actually, you are trying to make it in a positive way. Trying to uh, uh, use TikTok in education. Because you know that the te teenagers, the youngsters, they are into TikTok now. Try to use it, apply it in education, in teaching language. Why don't? Why did you do that? Okay. And how is your product different and unique? Uh, when you write your abstract, you have to mention how is your product different or unique. Okay. And of course, when you prepare your video later, because nowadays it is most of our idea of virtual, you have to mention in the video, the product is unique and different. So how would you convince it? So you have to do your research. So you have, you can quote the person name in your presentation. And then after that, you have to ask yourself, is it worth your time to do this product? Okay, for example, uh, I had this experience when I wanted to do uh, my, my ebook with one of my indigenous stories. Uh, the title is The Legend of Chen Shamana. So uh, we did it this year. Uh, we did an ebook uh, that it was very time consuming, very stressful. And is it worth it? Uh, okay, but then it was worth it because after the competition, my colleagues and I, we used that ebook in our classes. So it can be used. It is usable. So it is worth the time. Okay. Now, uh, remember this. When you produce a product or when you want to innovate and when you join an IID competition, the product doesn't end when you win. Okay, for example, uh, the result day when the announcement was made, oh, you received a silver medal and then you got frustrated. I ingat ada dapat gold, tiba-tiba dapat silver. Frust lah. And then you just forget about your product. No. Try to use it in the class and then see what is wrong with it. How to improvise it. How to make it better? Okay, for example, I'm using this uh, Chen Chamana, the legend of Chen Chamana story in my class who are doing uh, ALC 151, personal reading log. Okay, and uh, I asked the students to comment about the, the story, about the plot of the story. So from this comment, I know how to improvise it. So I can improvise it and I can join another competition next year based on the same uh, idea. I, I'm answering your question, Nazatoshima. Nazatoshima, you asked me this question just now. Is Nazatoshima here? Okay, so uh, you need to produce, uh, you need to spend your time, you need to spend your energy, and then sometimes your money. So is it worth it? Uh, you ask yourself. Kalau not worth it, you rasa not worth it, I don't do it. If you think it is worth it, then proceed. Go ahead. So the more time and attention you put into your research process, the more powerful your product will be, inshallah. Trust me on this. Okay, about your product. 
Okay, for example, I have this uh, product, uh, the, ed the edutainment project. I did this edutainment project with my colleague, Nor Shazwani. Uh, she's Dr. Nor Shazwani now. Okay, so what we did first, we gather all information about my, our product. Okay, gather all information and then put everything in the presentation to see the flow. Okay, for, so this one, the one that I shared here, actually it is a PowerPoint. I normally do this, okay? I will create a PowerPoint where I gather all the information. After I gather all the information, then I start to reorganize it. Which idea to say first, put it in sequence, organize it in sequence so that it is easier for me to do my presentation, okay? For example, in the traditional ID where we have to stand at our booth and present our product, so you know the sequence of your presentation. Tak nak caca merba, sat cakap yang tu, sat cakap ini. No, you have the sequence already. And if you have partner, so you tell a partner, from this sequence up to this sequence, I will do the presentation and then you will proceed. So this is how you organize your idea. So that the judges can see the flow of ideas from A to Z about your product. From how you begin, from the initial stage until the end product, okay? Okay, then this is very important. Give your product a catchy name. All right, so I, uh, I remember joining uh, many competitions where I was amazed by the name of the products, okay? Uh, for example, this is my product, uh, uh, one of the innovation that we did last year, last year, 2021, and we won gold, GI Semai. Okay, we have GI Semai. GI stands for uh, games. Semai, uh, we did games, gamification. All right, and then uh, one of my colleagues, he used the name Guna Guna. Okay, so people will be wondering, what is Guna Guna? Okay, Guna Guna is actually, uh, they, they did product, recycle product. Okay, and then uh, recently, I saw a group from uh, lecturers from UITM Dunkil. They did this product called Jury Sophie. Uh, Jury Sophie. Uh, the lecturers are from the law faculty. So Jury, J-U-R-Y, uh, Jury Sophie. So because uh, they did a game uh, and the game, the title of the game is Jury Sophie. It is interesting. So give your product a catchy name. So a catchy name will first attract the judge's attention. Okay. Uh, and then they would like to know more. Of course, uh, if you have the traditional booth, people would like to know more. Hey, what is guna guna? Hey, what is GI and eh? GI semai? Macam GI Joe. Is it a, a, a penny cerita misteri ke apa? So they would like to know. Oh, bila datang baru tahu, oh, sebenarnya cerita orang asli. But the name is GI semai. And they don't know what semai is. They thought it is pertanian, but it has nothing to do with pertanian. It is about uh, orang asli people in Malaysia. Okay, all right, edutainment project. Uh, so when you do your presentation, of course, you have to explain what you have, you have given the name of your project, the edutainment project. Okay, what is edutainment? So you need to explain to the judges, what do you mean by edutainment? Okay, so you have to explain in detail. All right, show the judges the workflow. Of course, uh, in the traditional way, the traditional ID, you also need to show the workflow. And also in the video, now that we have to prepare the video, you have to show the workflow. And nowadays, um, in, okay, up to now, April, I have joined four IID. Okay, this year, 2022, I have joined four IID. And in most of the IID I joined, uh, when we are preparing the video, they require us, they requested that we do a product demonstration, okay? So we have to explain about the product and demo it so that they could see whether the product can be used. Is it usable? You don't just talk about it, but you have to show how you use it, okay? Because only you, the creator of the product, the person who innovated, know the process of your uh, product, the process of doing it. So you have to, okay, you have to write them, write them down and you have to explain to the judges. For example, if you pre prepare the video, you have it in your video to describe a little bit about the project. Okay, explain the process and then you need to demo the product. Okay, for example, like uh, 
the product of Mu'asyir penunjuk Al-Quran. Why I keep talking about that product, Mu'asyir penunjuk Al-Quran, because the leader of that team invited me to be the member. And we, together with him, we have won, uh, we have joined three competitions and we have won a special award for the first competition and silver award for the second and silver award for the third competition. Okay? So, uh, in the video, but I, I don't have his video, in the video that he prepared, he showed the process of doing that Penunjuk Al-Quran. Okay? Uh, he is actually the uh, from AD, yeah, from Art and Design. So, he uh, in the video, he showed the process of doing the Penunjuk Al-Quran. Okay? And the product uh, from scratch, it showed from scratch until it became uh, penunjuk Al-Quran, the canggih penunjuk Al-Quran, a very nicely, uh, with a nice packaging. And then, sampailah uh, the people who are doing Tadarus, uh, in Ramadan, they have Tadarus, right? So, the the people who are doing Tadarus using that penunjuk Al-Quran, and we took a video of that, and we showed it in our video. Uh, so, to them more how people use that penunjuk Al-Quran and appreciate it, okay? So, hmm, you have to do that in order to win, inshallah. Okay, and this is very important. When you prepare your presentation, when you want to join IID competition, you don't only have a good product, you don't have, uh, you don't only uh, uh, present about the flow of the product, demo it, you need to pilot it. Okay, you need to have some sort of study, just a small study or a pilot study about the use of your product, the usable of your product. Okay, for example, like myself, I always used whatever IID uh, products that I, that I join, uh, the that I have, whether it is ebook, book or movie, games, I would use in my class or I would also use in my friend classes, or I would try it out at school, okay, and get the feedback from the students, okay, so this is a must, so you will know the effectiveness and you will know how to improvise it for the future competition, and you will also, the most important thing, if you do this pilot study of your project or your product, you will have a data, and use this data when you present it, Okay, whether it is traditional, you have to display the data that you have, or in the video, you also have the data, okay, based on the pilot study to prove that your product is usable and it is interesting, people, students enjoy when they use it, okay? So, pilot study is a must, mandatory, I would say. Okay. And collect evidences uh, from the users, yeah? Collect evidences from the use, testimonies and evidences on the effectiveness of the product. Maybe you can have a survey form or maybe you can interview people, a focus group interview to get feedback about the product. Okay, so uh, for example here, feedback from the students. Okay, for example, you have question, which language activities do you prefer with the ind indigenous story? You can choose more than one answer. So you have this data and you can present this data when you, you do your video or when you do your, um, maybe soon we will have our traditional IID bag. So you can have it in your poster presentation. And if you have to do virtual video, with a virtual presentation, you, you may have, uh, you can display the data in your video. And this will convince the judges that, oh, the product is very useful, effective, and students love to do these games. Okay, so what, how do they know? Because you have the evidence here. Okay, this evidence is the proof that your product is a good product. All right, and these are the testimonies from the users, testimonies from the students who use the product. Okay, why do you think the short story is interesting? or not interesting, okay? So the student said, I like the folk tales, I can improve my English language skill, or oh, it is about ghosts. 
because I like the storyline. So from here, you know that they enjoyed it. Okay, so when you do your video, you can tell the judges that the students really enjoy the story because it is an amu because amusing stories, it's interesting, it captured their interests, and it will encourage them to know more and it will motivate them to learn English uh, when they read the story. Uh, I'm giving you an example. Okay. All right. In the traditional IID, of course, you need to prepare a poster. Okay. Uh, in the virtual competition uh, this year, uh, only this year I found a competition virtual presentation, uh, virtual video, which required uh, the participants to prepare a poster, a virtual poster. I will share with you uh, my virtual poster afterwards. Okay. So these are the traditional posters. Okay, so you have to check with the IID website for the format. If they have, uh, they ask you to do a, pro uh, a poster, check the format. And you need to provide sufficient information, of course. And of course, you need to do infographic will be good, but I am not good at designing. Uh, seriously and honestly, I'm not good at designing. I have ideas, uh, maybe I have the, the language, uh, and then maybe I can write, but designing i always uh depend on my colleagues from ad okay and alhamdulillah i have wonderful colleagues from ad who would like to collaborate with me and whenever i ask them to join they say okay can join kasheri boleh join okay alhamdulillah okay so the information in your uh, poster should be brief but comprehensive all right so now that we have the virtual platform so what do we do? The platform has changed from the traditional and uh, from the traditional to virtual. So I would like to ask you, uh, the audience, uh, which platform do you, do you prefer actually? Do you prefer the traditional platform or do you prefer the virtual platform? Can you answer in the chat box so that Asni can give me the feedback? You prefer the traditional IID or you prefer the virtual IID? the platform uh, of the uh, IED competition? Which platform do you prefer? Okay, we have one answer from Muhammad Hanafi Yassin. Traditional platform, boleh jalan-jalan. <laughs> yes. Yes, I agree with you. I agree. Uh, I also prefer the traditional platform because you boleh jalan-jalan. You can visit other, uh, other candidates or other team are the team who join the competition you can always get some ideas from them you can always like uh you can uh watch uh, look at their posters you can always ask them about their product you can jalan jalan a lot not only jalan jalan you can sometimes jalan jalan and makan also if they, uh, they have makan they have food product you can jalan jalan and makan as well you can also jalan jalan and take a selfie if the the team happen to be your friends and you can jalan jalan and learn from other team. Okay, for example, I remember when I joined I IDEX. I joined IDEX, many IDEX already. So, uh, because I did Orang Asli Folk Tales. So, I would jalan jalan and look for other team who are also doing folk tales. Okay, and try to ask them questions to get more information. So, from here, I know how to improvise my product in the future. Or from them, I can get ideas on how to do this. Okay, however, the the virtual platform is uh, has turned out to be interesting when I joined Creations uh, UITM 2022. Uh, okay, let me share with you. Yes, I joined Creations DUITM 2022 where we can jalan-jalan virtually. Uh, this uh, organizer is from UITM Dengkil, Asasi Dengkil. They have this virtual book, uh, which is very interesting. And that's why I decided to join this competition because when I checked their website, they have this virtual booth. And on, not only my booth is displayed, so they give us the link, you can jalan-jalan to other people's booth. Okay? So it's just like jalan-jalan during the traditional uh, ID. Okay, but the, the sad thing is that you can only jalan-jalan and watch, watch. Virtually lah. If they have food product, you tak boleh makan. If they have perfume, you cannot test the perfume. But 
but actually it is very enjoyable. I jalan-jalan to most of the uh, booth virtually. Okay, let me share with you. Uh, let me share with you. My booth. Uh, this is my booth, my virtual booth. Can you see this booth? Uh, this is my virtual booth. Uh, I joined this competition. Cencemana uh, ebook. We did Cencemana ebook. Cencemana is the title of one of the folk tales. Okay, I joined this competition with uh, students and also lecturers. Okay, let me click the booth. Uh, you see? So you can see how many people have viewed your product and how many people viewed it today. Okay, and people will know oh, or any, who are the, the, the team, who are the members. Okay, for example here, Zaidi Yusuf is a lecturer, Sharina lecturer, Anita lecturer, Alia Nabela and Muklis. Uh, these two are students. Okay. Okay, let me click on the virtual booth. So this is how the virtual booth look like. So for this competition, I need to prepare a poster. Uh, this is my poster. Okay. Uh, no, this is uh, actually the terbalik. Eh? This is actually the product pictures. Eh? Pictures of the product. And then we have the innovators photos. And then here, oh, here we have a product picture. Actually, this is the poster. Dia terbalik. Poster is there and the product picture is here. So, this is the poster. And then, do you want to see, do you want to see my, uh, do you want to see my video? Okay, I will click on the video, yeah? Asli, you have to tell me whether it is visible and can be heard. Okay, okay. COVID-19 pandemic has affected teaching and learning in the global world. Through this difficult year, teachers all over the world embrace challenges. From face-to-face -face classes, we shifted to virtual platform. From papers and books, teachers now need to be creative with teaching materials to be used in virtual classes. Welcome to our presentation on preservation through innovation a virtual learning package for ESL Classroom. Making the learning of a second language fun creates motivation for young learners to learn the language. Stories and folk tales can make teaching more enjoyable and learning more effective for learners because they bring a world of wonder and magic. By this means, they can make learning fun and enjoyable. Stories in general and folk tales in particular bring a holistic approach to foreign or second language teaching and learning. Through stories, learners acquire more than just language knowledge and usage and have opportunities to hear and use language in meaningful and engaging ways. Folk tales help pass values and beliefs, traditions and culture across the generations. The innovation is a paradigm shift in promoting folklore's true innovation, especially in introducing the folk tales in ESL classrooms using a virtual medium such as a virtual storytelling, ebook and e-language activities. One of the issues pertaining to the construction of stories for 21st century children is the accelerating concerns with its content. Critics have examined folklore as ancient, old-fashioned, rural, decent, uneducated, dying out and fundamentally dismissive. To avoid criticism and scrutiny, the researchers practice caution and care in examining the nature of the original stories told by the storytellers before recontextualizing it into stories for 21st century children. A virtual learning package, which includes a virtual puppet show accompanied with a colorful e-storybook, will allow the younger generation to learn English language in fun and interactive ways. This fascinating product design is aligned with the 21st century teaching and learning as it can be used in the classroom as technology-based language enrichment activities. Folk tales can be helpful for teachers to start exploring the possibilities of including them as pedagogical resources in their language classes. With the immense popularity of social networking and technology, it is high time to develop a high-tech entertainment product for the young learners to quench their thirst for knowledge. 
the product has its potential to be commercialized in several sectors. For example, in education, in tourism, and entertainment, networking and collaboration with school teachers and Ministry of Education will enable the project to be launched in the near future. Moral and artistic values in the folk stories of the Samai people. As such, it is our opinion that these details should be incorporated and utilized in the learning of our school students. One particular subject that can benefit from these stories is English. Shahnaza Art 2019 has explored in her research on how the folk tales can be employed in the ESL classroom to teach reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. The products related to Samai folk tales have received several awards and recognition in innovation competition internationally. The virtual language learning package can be utilized by teachers and students by scan a QR code to the YouTube video where students can have access to virtual puppet show, scan a QR code to the ebook where they can read the story of the legend of Chanchamana, and they can scan a QR code to do the language activities, where they can have access to reading, vocabulary, listening, speaking, and writing activities. Answer keys for each activities are provided for students to check their answers and score. A short survey has been conducted to teachers and students who have used this package and they have given a very positive feedback. Our virtual ESL learning package innovation is in line with a quotation from our former Minister of Education. And most importantly, our innovation is also in line with the theme of the innovation competition for humanity empowering neutering knowledge. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so that was uh, the virtual booth. So uh, actually, this was the first experience that I had uh, joining a competition which offered a virtual booth. And I really enjoyed uh, it because I, uh, I was able to visit more than 70 booths. Uh, to, because I visited because I wanted to learn on how uh, to do a video. So I, I was like uh, trying to figure out to win a competition, whether you have to prepare, a, whether you must have a good product or you have to prepare a good video. Okay. You have a good product or a good video. So actually, I was thinking, I've been thinking that if you have a good video, there must be a chance for you to win because your presentation is is a great you have a great video presentation so you have uh, you will win but i was wrong after i visited most of the booth okay some presentation video was very simple and they managed to win goal award okay they managed to win goal award because they have a good product so it is not necessary that you have change one a change video you can just have a simple video but as long as you can Proof that your product is a good product, then you uh, you will be able to win uh, some one of the categories. Okay, so uh, this uh, I have just shared uh, the video, but this one uh, we I only managed to win silver. So this year um, I'm not that lucky to win gold in the beginning of the year. So in the beginning I started humble, started humble. So I won silver. And then uh, hopefully I will win some gold this, uh, in the future, this year. Okay, so this is a poster. Again, I shared and pictures of the product. I'm going to go very fast because we have only 30 minutes. So remember, uh, when you prepare a poster, whether it is virtual or whether it is traditional, uh, the information or the poster that you have should clarify, justify, and it should be very comprehensive, but brief. Okay, so this is the setup. Uh, in the old IID, which I prefer because of other than jalan-jalan, you can actually bagi tahu dekat uh, judges tu how good is your product. Try to convince. But in the video, you tak boleh buat macam ni because you only have four to five minutes video. But in the traditional, 
the judge can just stand there, listen to you, whatever you want to say. Tunjuk itu tunjuk ni. You can you can tunjuk a lot of things. Ah, uh, so this is the advantage of the traditional IID before the pandemic. Okay. Uh, back. Uh, this was the the IID competition. I won this. Uh, the best gold, a diamond and gold in uh, Bru this was in Brunei, I think. Okay, and now you have, uh, we have to prepare pre-recorded video. I'm going to go very fast now. Pre-recorded video can be very challenging uh, because different organizers different uh, require different things. Okay, so you need to really study the uh, requirement of the competition. Uh, you have to look at the, the website because it is not the same from one organizer to another. Okay, for example, like this uh, competition uh, in the video, it is three to five minutes only, including the CDR. They gave you the CDU introduction. They give you the introduction. Some more video in the competition will use the same intro video. Okay, I think this is AG 2022, AG. Okay, and then... In the video, they have given you specific format. So you have to follow the format. You have to introduce the title, the name of the name of project members. You have to introduce where you are from. Introduce a product, problem statement, novelty, usefulness, commercialization, potential, awards, demonstration. Okay, now uh, starting from this year, I noticed that um, many uh, organizers require uh, participants to do this product demo. Okay, they, you must have the demo and then you must provide the references. Okay, in the video that I showed you just now, my video, uh, if you notice the last part of the video, I put a quotation from uh, the late, not the late, um, former Minister of Education. And then I also align it with the theme of the competition. Uh, this one is very important. If you not ambit hati the organizer, okay, try to include the team or try to uh, uh, use their team in your presentation. Uh, align it with their team. Okay. For example, just now, uh, for humanity, uh, something. So, uh, what uh, is the team included in your video? Uh, so, they like, oh, they, uh, this uh, team, they acknowledge our 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 team, T-H-E-M-E. -E, yeah? They acknowledge our team and they apply it or they include it in the video. Okay. So align it, they align it with their product. Uh, so itu boleh ambil hati lah. You want to capture their interest and to win their heart. Okay, so that is one of the strategy. So I'm not going to show uh, these other videos. I have other video presentations uh, from uh, which I prepared from uh, with my colleagues here. But we don't have time to show all the videos here. If you want to know uh, to get more video, IID video samples, you can just go to Google, you type EDGI, E-D-G-I-I, EDGI 2022. Okay, because EDGI uploaded all the presenters' video in YouTube. Okay, so you just type EDGI 2022. So you can look at all the videos. You uh, Because they have stated that uh, gold medal, silver medal. So perhaps you would like to check uh, the video that... Um, uh, video with gold medal, macam mana anda dapat uh, gold medal. Uh, so you want to know how to get gold medal, you click the video yang tulis kat situ stated there, uh, this uh, team they have won gold medal. So you click, uh, you just and go to this and then click that video and you watch it. Okay, so I'm not going to click my own video here. So you can go to Edgy 2022, alright. So, uh, video submission can be very challenging. Yes, challenging because you have only four minutes. Uh, the rule will say, the guideline will say four to five minutes or three to five minutes. Okay. So, uh, it is challenging. Yes, I, I agree because uh, you need, you have a lot of information and you have to feed the judges with the information within that four minutes. Okay. But I'm going to share this just for a short while to show how colored we are. Assalamualaikum. The project title is Who's Afraid of the Ghost? In a fine survival tale in ASL classrooms. Our project has been inspired by a quotation by a former Minister of Education. The teaching and learning of semi-short stories in fun, interactive, and creative ways. 
let's focus on the significance of the project to explore the idea of just of our students playing the games. An innovative project in enhancing ESL language teaching and learning in the new norm. Number two, using it. The animated movies about our own original tribes can be a source of entertainment. Teloche, ruler of the jungle. How dare you, Teloche? You disturb my grandchild. <laughs> this boy has trespassed my territory, so he has to bear the consequences. <laughs> Please save my son. The time is running. There are lessons to be learned. Rules to be followed. If not, the ghost of Terloche will come and haunt you. Thank you. For that particular video, finally we managed to make it into four minutes. But if you notice, uh, the way we speak, semua uh, kelangkabut kan? Macam kelangkabut lah. But then, uh, Alhamdulillah, we won a gold medal also for this uh, competition. And at the end, we managed to show a short, uh, like a video clips from our uh, movie, yeah? from uh, our movie, The Loche, one of the folk tales. Okay. All right. Uh, this is just to show how we practice to get that four minutes. We had to redo many times or uh, improvise from one uh, video session to another. Uh, my colleagues and I here. All right, so uh, the four minutes video presentation I just showed you just now. Okay, this one I just want to share with you. In IDEX 2020, I was uh, selected to pitch my product uh, via online. Okay, so I won a gold medal and I was selected to pitch for the Diamond Award. Okay, so I had to pitch my product by online. Uh, for this pitching, uh, the product was indigenous story but we did the video in mandarin language uh, just now you when you listen just now that was the english version and this is the mandarin version so to answer the question from nazatoshima just now again can you send the uh, the same product this is actually uh, the same product but we improvise it we improvise it we have in, uh, it in mandarin version and the focus, the objective is totally different. This is to enhance third language proficiency. So we use semi-digital storytelling. Same story, uh, the same plot of the story, same title, but then it is in Mandarin. And the characters, of course, we adapt it to suit with the Mandarin language. Okay? All right. So when you use your, when you want to prepare your video, of course you have to make uh, you have to use uh, attractive pictures from your product. And most importantly, try to get uh, IP for your product. Okay. Uh, most judges will ask you if whether you have IP, copyright, patent. Have you patent your product in the traditional uh, RID? In the video, you can also show it in the video that you have actually are the pattern than copyright okay because your product will be copyright protected okay so you have to show the evidence that you have the ip and now uh, the the latest information that i have if you want to uh dulu previously it was very easy you just have to apply it online and then you will get uh your ip within a few days but now uh, you you cannot, uh, uh, it is no longer my IPO, you have to apply it from Bitcom, okay? You want to uh, apply IP pattern, you have to apply it from Bitcom, and you have to EC this uh, form, which is in online, uh, you have to EC the online, and they will select you from this. Once you are selected, you'll be called for presentation. Uh, you have to present. Uh, now they have online presentation, of course. You have to present, you have to pitch that product in front of them before they decide whether to give you the IP or not. Uh, they make it susala. It is not easy as easy as before to get pattern, to get the IP now. Okay. Uh, we had this yesterday, my colleague and I, Zaidi and I, because uh, the product is, 
uh, muasyar, our muasyar product, the penunjuk Al-Quran. So we presented our product to uh, Bitcom just to get the IP. And we don't know whether it it will be approved, but nampak gaya macam approved, insyaAllah. Okay, uh, based on their comments yesterday, first, we had two saringan. Now, first, we had to pitch the product. And yesterday, we have to present uh, the product in front of the judges here. We have a few judges and they have another penilai. And the penilai will decide whether your product deserves uh, the IP or not. So, it is quite uh, susah. Uh, difficult but then if you have strong team uh, the strong team yang willing nak buat kerja-kerja ni untuk you dan willing nak buat sama-sama together uh, then okay lah then uh, you can proceed with that if you your ketua dan you nak kena buat semua you are the leader and you have to do everything uh, then you it's quite uh, stressful also okay and then uh, if you have like book macam I I ada book uh ebook and then I will apply IS, uh, ISBN and EISBN and I was lucky I have a, a teammate uh, in Puan Shazlati yeah she's the one who always uh, do this uh, copyright thing uh, applying for copyright and my another ebook that I have Puan Anita uh, Cik Anita sorry Cik Anita uh, applied uh, EISBN uh, for my ebook the latest ebook The Legend of Chen Chumana and Nowadays, you don't have to, uh, you have to apply uh, the ISBN or EISBN or copyright uh, guna online, uh, through online. So, after you have applied it online, you will get this barcode. Okay, so you boleh guna lah the barcode as your copyright page here. So, how to apply for EISBN, ISBN. Okay. All right. So, how to apply? Uh, first, you pemohon perlu mendaftar untuk mendapatkan akses kepada sistem. You have to register first. Okay. Pemohon diminta untuk memberikan maklumat. So, what you need is you have to give your nama penuh, your jawatan, your email, your phone number to the librarian. Uh, here in UITM Kedah, we have one Atira who is very helpful. Okay. And then, uh, you, once you register, you will be given user ID and kata laluan. To you, then you will have access to Perpustakaan Negara. Okay, so once you have the access, you boleh upload lah. You can upload <coughs> the muka depan of your book. Okay, paparan akan dipamerkan isi semua maklumat yang diperlukan. So all the maklumat yang diminta ni, you have to isi. If you salah isi, they will reject it and ask you to redo. Uh, so we had this experience because we send uh, because they ask us the URL or the link where we share our product. So I ingat it is uh, because I share my product in Facebook. So I thought uh, Facebook link too is sufficient, uh, but actually it's not sufficient. They want a URL, so I the URL that you do your work, meaning uh, they want to see the process of doing the ebook. So. Uh, my group, we had this uh, Google Drive where we shared all the designs, uh, the writings and everything. So, we I gave the link, the Google Drive link and finally they accepted the Google Drive link. And after that, they accepted the permohonan ISBN and then uh, they asked us to give Muka Hadapan, the front page, the title page, the synopsis of the story. You have to give the copyright page. And then the table of content. Okay, after you have given them all this. Okay, uh, dulu last time you can use social media. That's why I bagi Facebook link. I think for the first book, uh, where, uh, which I did with uh, my other members, I gave the Facebook link and they accepted. But now they have a new rule. Social media tidak boleh digunakan sebagai pautan. Uh, so, we cannot give link uh Instagram ke, Facebook ke, if you share your work there. Okay? So, that's why they ask us to give a different link. So, selepas semua di muat naik, after I uploaded everything, so, we have to like, check the status. But, for my team, I uh, within three days, uh, within three days, we, we were given the barcode, so we could use that barcode for our copyright page. So, that's how 
the process is to apply for ISBN or EISBN so that you can have copyright for your if you produce a book lah, ISBN or EISBN. Okay, to know further, you have to contact your librarian now. They will provide you with all the information. Okay, so uh, your product must be impactful. If you have uh, the impact, if your product has impact, you may have the chance to win, inshallah. Okay, so it must have impact toward who? The society, economy, and humanity. Okay, toward the users. And of course, you have to plan your presentation precisely. Okay, like I said just now, what I did, I gather all the information and put it in PowerPoint and organize it, put it in sequence, okay? And then highlight uh, the important points that you want to say. But of course, you also need to always check with the guidelines and always check the requirement. If they require you to do uh, product demo, you do product demonstration. You have to really check because different organizers will have different guidelines. Okay. When you do your presentation, make sure that you show that you are really passionate about your product. Okay. You are really into doing it. Show your feelings that you really think that your product is uh, impactful. Your product has a lot of benefits. Your product is uh, effective. Okay. So involve emotion a bit okay so when you do your presentation you are like telling your story so you must have a storyboard okay you must plan a storyboard with your group members so that uh, if you have a four minutes video or five minutes video then the judges can really follow your story okay, from the beginning until oh this is a product and it can be used and this is the result okay Always be positive. Uh, jangan ingat, oh, produk aku ni biasa-biasa saja. Actually, the biasa-biasa can also be luar biasa. All right. Don't go alone. Embrace teams and collaborate. Okay. Try to collaborate with people. Okay. If you, for example, if you have interested uh, lecturer from other uh, UITM, not only on Kedah, ah, boleh, no problem. You try to collaborate with uh, other lecturers uh, from other faculty, from other university pun boleh. If you can win together as a team, why do you want to win alone? So, but I have also seen uh, people who participated in IID competition alone. Uh, okay, may, maybe he is uh, uh, good in doing a lot of things. For me, uh, honestly, I am not good in designing. So I need people to design for me. And I am not, uh, my voice is not good. So I need uh, lecturers like Puan Shazliati, Puan Rebecca, who has sweet voice, who has a power, powerful voice to offer their voice when I do their, when we do the video. Okay, so that in most of my videos, in most of my uh, movies or the movie, uh, the animated film, uh, we use these lecturers' voices. Okay, so they are in a team. So that's why you need to have a team who are understanding, who can collaborate well with you, who can contribute. Okay, so you have to also acknowledge their expertise. Why do you want them to be in your team? Because they have the expertise and you acknowledge them. Okay. And please, if you want to win, you really want to win the, the, the special award, don't try to get a free rider in your team uh, then you susah you susah as the leader because you have to do a lot of work but actually the the job uh, the burden of the the work can be shared but if you have free riders then you as the leader um will be stressful sometimes i have a, a lot of experience already okay so great teamwork make sure you click uh, make sure you click with all the members make sure you have a great team and Alhamdulillah, I have great team so far. Okay, we have won many awards together. We have uh, a diamond, gold, and also silver. Okay, my designers, favorite designers. I we also I also have uh, Dr. Shafila as my uh, designer, and uh, Nchit Zaidi, who are great team members, and they are great designers as well. And this is Inche Asro. 
and Abu, eh, Encik Abu. Okay, and uh, this one I would like to share with you. Okay, try to invite students to participate in your innovation. Okay, they may have remarkable ideas than you. Sometimes you try to look uh, to get ideas from your students. Try to look at certain things from their perspective you can invite them to be your collaborators. For example, I have joined many IID competition with students and we have won a lot of awards already. I actually won two, my two diamonds with students, with students from my diploma classes. Okay, I asked them to join and then I taught them, I guided them how to register the product and how to do the poster so alhamdulillah okay we won the, i won two diamonds with students actually i won three two with students okay uh, for example uh, i i'm not sharing this with you encourage your students to participate in our edit competition uh, one of my students uh, she actually created one of my story because uh, she read my book my uh Ora asli book and she created a video uh which she put a title, a ghost story. Uh, this story is in my YouTube. Huh? Uh, you can go to YouTube and just check indigenous story or semi, uh, semi uh, video. Eh? So you can have a lot of uh, videos uh, shared by my students. So this student did a very good video about one of the stories that I have. And this one, uh, I just want to share uh, work from a simple class activity. Sometimes your class activities can also be an innovative idea, can be your innovative idea. You can uh, turn it into an innovative innovation product. You can turn it into a product. Okay, for example, this year, I'm teaching ELC 151 uh, short story. Okay, so uh, they have one story. Uh, they have stories to read. Okay, so to encourage them to read, this is not the orang asli. Yeah? This is a story from... Uh, Malaysian folk tales. Okay, to encourage them to read, I ask them after they have read the story, try to uh, do a quiz. But the quiz is not just a normal quiz. Try to create something different. So this is what the student did. They did a uh, uh, card games, uh, Jalan Reko Church Temple fun card games. So they uh, they had these card games based on the character, and then they did uh, digital card games. Uh, which is which I found very interesting. If I were to improvise it, okay, it could be a very fun and interesting cut games based on the short story. Okay, and students are very creative too. You know, okay, let me share with you. My student ELC two three one, they are doing expository essay, and I found it very stressful to teach every one of them how to write good essay. Okay, so I asked them what do they like. They said they like TikTok a lot. Okay, so I asked them to create TikTok to write. Okay, so this is what they have produced. Okay, so this group, they did a TikTok based on uh, how to write uh, a good introductory paragraph. So the other students, when they want to check their introductory paragraph, they use this TikTok as their checklist, uh, which is interesting. Okay, it can be an, you know, uh, a good innovation, TikTok to write. Okay, and another group, they did this uh, snake and ladder based on a folk tale. Snake, a snake and ladder games, yeah? Today we are back in the same room with a different game, which is Snake and Ladder Game! Woo! So for the rules of the game, firstly, the player has to throw the dice. Secondly, if you step on the question mark, you have to answer the question. And if you get the wrong answer, you have to reverse to step backwards. 
Okay, I'm not going to show the video in full, but from simple activity in class like this, you can actually improvise it. For example, this student they created snake and ladder game based on a folk tale. So it is a gamification. So what you need to do is encourage them to join a, uh, an IID competition by improvising the product. Okay, so you be the member, let them be the leader. Okay, so this is how you innovate. IID with students involvement. Okay, for example, I'm here, vice, I join with students. I have six students here. We won already an award here. And creations, I also joined with two students. Okay. And I also asked the student to lead. Okay, for example, my student, uh, when we won the Diamond Award, the leader was actually Patricia, one of my students. And I am, I was just a member of this group. Okay, I did project with students' involvement. Again, okay, the medals that we have won this year alone. Okay, I, uh, I showed here this year, 2022, yeah, with students. And uh, this one is the... Uh, we just registered this. Uh, the student registered as a leader, uh, Alia Nabela registered as a member, and the rest are the students. And I am the lecturer who is uh, facilitating them. Okay, so this is income 2022, the ongoing competition. They have submitted the abstract uh, and now uh, doing the product demo. They are doing gamification. Okay, so give the students the experience to work from zero to hero. So you you have won many awards already. For example, I have joined many competitions. I've won many awards. So this is the time for me to train my students to also be involved in innovative, to also be involved in IID competition and tell them uh, once they want something, they would be addicted to it. They would be joining it again and again. All right. And after you have asked the students to join, they join the competition. And after you have won the award, regardless whether diamond, ke gold, ke silver, ke appreciate them, reward them, give them incentive. Okay, for example, I brought them to this restaurant. Because uh, we want diamond and we want cash money. Thank you, madam. Thank you, leader. <laughs> okay. So I brought them to this restaurant. They were so happy because they want gold, they want diamond, and they want another gold. So they want many awards. So that was the... I brought them to the... Uh, restaurant and give them all their certificates so they were so happy and we also won cash money uh, during that time okay the awards okay now I want to talk about abstract you have to prepare a good abstract okay uh, but I'm not going to teach you how to or guide you how to write a good abstract for IID because this will be another webinar I think all right I just want to show you uh, this one Okay, uh, follow the abstract guidelines. Okay, this is what happened to this Alia Nabela when she uh, submitted her abstract. She didn't read the guidelines properly and the abstract was written. Dear Miss Alia, you have to revise the abstract because the abstract to uh, exceed the number of word limit. Okay, and then Alia revise, hantar balik dekat abstract uh, committee and then the abstract committee accepted. Finally accepted after she reduced the number of words. Okay, uh, so the this is the accepted abstract. 
okay, shorter, 250. Okay, so most importantly, because I'm not going to show the how to actually write it, most importantly, when you write your abstract, you have to explain the abstract and how it give an impact and how unique is the abstract, uh, how unique is your product and how it uh, benefits the society and example how uh, try to relate it with the previous research or the current study apa yang you buat dengan uh, produk tu and if you have pilot tested it uh, mention it in the abstract in a brief uh, sentences okay abstract sample I have here abstract sample uh, okay now I want to talk about uh, extended abstract some uh, organizers they also have this uh, extended abstract. After you submit the abstract, they publish your extended abstract. Do publish in extended abstract. Dapat juga publication. Okay? Right? Uh, so, publication, even though it is a proceeding, it is also a publication. Uh, if they ask you to do abstract, extended abstract, full paper are uh, what? So that you can get publication. Out of that innovation, you dah menang award, you dapat juga publication. So, you can isi your my ATP. Banyak lah, banyak uh, you can see. So, it benefits you. And publish your work, please. So, after you dah menang-menang everything, try to uh, turn it into a paper and publish it. Okay? And then, you have to, uh, when you want to join uh, ID, don't, bukan je macam, uh, nak join lah and then just join. You must have plan. Okay, for example, uh, if you ask me whether you want to, uh, can you send the same product? No, you cannot send the same product. You cannot send the same product unless you improvise it. Okay, for example, I have this 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0. 5 so, my 5.0, I am currently doing digital comic. Uh, this is my 5.0. So, the rest I have done and I have worn and now currently doing this one. Okay. So learn to innovate. Okay, for example, uh, this is the, I have this Teloche. If you go to YouTube and you type Teloche, you can see many versions. Okay, so I have a Mandarin version. So this Mandarin version is actually my innovation of the same product. And then if you want to share your product with other people, interested people, you share it in the social media. I believe you all have your social media, right? For example, I have this Facebook page called Learn the Semai Way. I noticed that there are so many semi people who actually are the followers of this semi way. And sometimes they private message me. And they, they private message me and they ask me, how are you in semi language? Okay. And luckily, because I actually went to the kampung, to the semi village, and I learned a few uh, phrases and I could reply them. Okay. So when they ask me and I could uh, reply them, they are happy. So they maybe they ask uh, their children or their friends to join. So I have like, um, tak perasan berapa, but beratus-ratus juga lah semai people in this uh, Learn the Semai Way. Because I shared all the, the, the buku cerita or the videos in this uh, Learn the Semai Way page and they I think they enjoy to watch stories about themselves. Okay, and also share with schools, students, and teachers. If you have friends in school, uh, try to ask them, uh, can you try, uh, can you pilot your project, uh, pilot test your project in their school? So uh, you can also share with the, the students and the teachers there. Okay, so this is, uh, I think it's about time, but I'm, I want to show you how to pitch product for the Diamond Award, okay? So, if you have been chosen to pitch a product, okay, for example, you must have competition and then you have been selected to pitch to win the special award, okay? So, kalau nak menang special award, you have to pitch. So, you have to, when you have to pitch, what you have to do, you have to follow this. Uh, this was given to me by judges from IIDEX, okay? You must have a tagline. You must have your product title, tagline, okay, for example, uh, my product, it's about Mandarin, uh, semi language, uh, semi story, digital storytelling in Mandarin. So my tagline is Mandarin for all. Okay, and because why we chose Mandarin for all? Because this is our PM vision of year 2025 to develop a Malaysian as one nation. Okay, and then you must have your mission.
problem, solution, proof of concept, benefits, strategies that you used, the challenges that you face, the alternative. If you cannot do this, how would you do take the alternative? Uh, you have to prove this. And then you have to show them uh, who will be your partners or stakeholders in the future. And why should the product menang the special award? Why should the product win? And believe me, all this you have to pitch within three minutes. Tiga minutes saja. And you are not allowed to use PowerPoint or whatever. You have to have all the points in your brain or in your mind. You have to memorize everything in three minutes. Okay, this is IIDEX. Maybe other organizers, they have a different uh, guideline for the pitch. But basically, what you have to tell them is this. Okay, uh, let me show you this one. Okay, uh, for this IREX competition, I pitched this product with my friend, my colleague here, Madam Shazliati Ibrahim. So we were only allowed to use one slide. Dalam satu slide, pitch your product. And the time given was to us was three minutes. Tiga minutes, satu slide. So in this one slide, we have this product. We have this English fun kit. Okay. So we put everything in this. So we have to talk about what is the product, why we uh, have this product, how to use this product, what is the novelty, uh, intellectual property. Uh, we received the copyright already and we have to mention it and show the proof and the commercialization potential. Okay, so within that three minutes, we have to tell them everything and we really have to impress them and convince them that this product is a good one. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, this is the barber time. I'm not going to show you because I don't have the time anymore. Uh, this is one of the um, movie that we made, barber time. Uh, I won this in, uh, I won gold for this movie in 2016, 2016 when I first joined VICE, uh, the VICE competition I joined 2016 and this year I joined again, 2022, uh, okay? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to share that one. I have 100 slides here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. All right, so I just want to share with you, this is the moment of truth when I first uh, won my diamond. I won my first diamond in IDEX, but I joined IDEX many years sebelum dapat diamond. I won silver, I won gold, I won many goals before I won diamond. So don't think that it is an easy journey. It is not an easy journey. So if you happen to join the competition first time and menang, you are great. Okay, that was my moment of glory lah, masa tu. Okay. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, for this uh, diamond, actually we uh, we did a flashcards. Uh, uh, we did a flashcards based on the indige indigenous food tale as well. Okay, so success is bittersweet. Uh, it is sweet. But it, uh, yeah, bittersweet because you have to work hard uh, before you win anything. Success is not only about the climb, but who were with you. So you appreciate the people who have been your team members who are to always together with you uh, during your journey, who are willing to join you anytime. Tanya je nak join tak? They are forever willing to join. 
Okay, uh, they will not say, ah, tunggu sana, nah, nak fikir dulu. They will not think twice to join you as your team member. So, um, I think all of us can be a hero if we are determined to be one. Okay, it is hard to find someone who are willing to spend the time, money, and do a lot of things uh, just for an innovation, just to, to join an IID competition. But if you are the person who are willing to work hard, then uh, you are you can call yourself a hero. Okay, you can be a hero. Everybody can be. Okay, so what we need to do is try. If we don't win this time, try again next time. Okay, for example, like uh, winning the diamond comp uh, diamond medal is not easy for me. I improvise uh, my product many times. If you notice, I have the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and finally we won the that diamond. It's not an easy thing to to achieve, but it is a doable. So if you are willing to work hard, inshallah. Okay, just keep trying until you succeed. Okay, so as a conclusion, try to pitch and win. Inshallah, you will win uh, your next IID competition. Okay, be patient, keep calm and practice. Inshallah. So uh, I wish all of you Selamat Hari Raya. Terima kasih uh, for joining my uh, talk. And if you have any questions, I am here to answer you, inshallah. Okay, back to you. Over to you, uh, Nini. Okay, Kak Sharina, we do have one question. Um, Nazato Shima again. Uh, yeah. The question is, if the book has ISBN already, is it considered as having copyright? Yes, yes. It is considered as having copyright. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, we have come to the end of the session. So, for UITM staff, the link for attendance has been shared. So, make sure you fill in the form, yeah? Um, so final words, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Puan Sharina, for the session just now. It was truly insightful and eye-opening, I would say. Um, I'm sure many have learned something from the session. And also thank you uh, to those uh, attending the session today. So let's end our session with Tasbih Kafara and also to Surah al -Az. Okay, so I guess that will be all for today. Thank you very much again. Assalamualaikum. See you again next time, inshallah. Selamat Hari Raya. Bye-bye. Hari Raya, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kak Shaina. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Assalamualaikum.